there are moments in your career that I remember you being very angry. One of them was a BJ Penn fight. Well, if you almost stopped BJ Penn, the round ended, and you jumped up and punched the turn. You, you punched the cage. Yes. You remember that? Yes. You were still mad. You need to canalize your emotion when you fight. You need to be stoic, no emotion. But there's times that it's time to use your emotion, but to use it to propel you. To, 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 to use it to motivate you to be able, for example, to finish the round with more energy. Even though you're physically exhausted, you use that those emotions to push yourself. But the em emotion is a little bit like fire. It can help you cook your food, but it right. can burn you. It's like, fi it's yes. like fear, fear. Yes, Customato yes. said, if you have a huge ego, like I, I have an incredible ego, I'm very, very proud i'm a very proud person which helped me be a better fighter but also it's it's an issue with sometime in life if i use my emotion when i get hit like i did for matt Cero, because i wanted to give it back to him right away i didn't like to be stunned i never been stunned in my life never it was the first time that i got stunned and for me it was humiliating humiliated he humiliate me so I wanted to give it back right away so we can shut everybody's mouth and, you know, that can say, you see, it was just a little mistake and that's it. But if you use it for that particular thing, it could be a, a, a big mistake. You need to canalize it and knowing when it's time to use your emotion, you keep it inside of you. And when it's time, you let it, let it explode. Isn't 